I was going through, my parents had moved not too long ago and gave back a lot of mementos. And I was going through papers that my parents had from grade eight on. And uh, they had this book where I had stated every year what I wanted to be. And it seemed like when I was in grade eight or nine, I wanted to be a doctor. But then in grade 10, all of a sudden I wanted to be a police officer. <laughs> grade 11, I, somehow I wanted to be a lawyer. And then by grade 12, I wanted to be a physician again. So um, I absolutely loved my residency program. So it was well organized. We were treated with respect as residents in Ottawa. Um, I had a lot of mentors and saw how, how well programs and change could actually occur in a big center. So when I came here to North Bay, loved my colleagues, loved the small size, but just saw that there was this kind of inherent dysfunction at meetings and that it was hard to actually get consensus or kind of bring in a program uh, that people would have to adopt and get them to change how they, how they practice. He's, he's young, he's open-minded, he's forward-thinking, he's got some zest to him, he's got a little edge, but through the years he's refined it in a way that is, it's, he's, being, he's using it positively, that edge. You can expect him to uh, challenge you and you can expect him to point out your flaws right away but in a jovial way with a good solution on how to improve. Um, you, um, he's very straightforward and it's a good thing. I, I speak my mind for sure. I don't always know how to rectify it. I don't have the answers. Um, but yeah, if I think something is inherently wrong or inherently unfair, then uh, I'd like to speak up and like to call people on things. Just like I like to be called out. Um, if I say something that's wrong or I didn't react the way I should have reacted, I, I don't mind. I, I've learned from a lot of failures in my life, trust me. I think people buy into the change he's proposing because he is so likable. He has relationships with everyone. You know, we know him, he's a friendly face, he's a good guy. Um, he's not just sort of removed himself and is only acting in an administrative capacity. He's just one of us. So it makes it easier um, to stop and listen to what he's actually saying and take it seriously. He's had some positive outcomes with change because he makes it make sense for the clinical, the frontline staff. He does it because it makes sense. And so that's his, um, I think that's one of his big strengths is that he doesn't move forward in, unless clinically it's been proven to be the good thing to do or uh, that it makes sense to everyday practitioners in the OR. And so he's reasonable. Yeah, I can think of, you know, a half dozen colleagues that kind of are equally deserving, if not more deserving, right? So I'm not doing anything that I don't think any other physician that cares wouldn't do also if they stepped into this role as a medical leader um, in the world of surgery. So it's, I just feel like I'm doing my job, right? Uh, some people could maybe do it better, uh, but I appreciate the recognition. I mean, it's, it's from the team of people that I'm trying to kind of lead and, uh, and learn from as well. So, but I don't think of myself as innovative, put it that way.
Congrats, Kevin. I'm uh, happy and proud of you. It's been great working with you the last seven years, especially the last two and a half years uh, at the administration level. I've learned a lot from you and has made me a better leader. I hope to continue to work with you on improving things at the hospital and uh, congrats again. Thank you.